How's it going guys? So the other day while I was bass fishing, I ended up hooking into a decent sized carp and after fighting that fish for a couple minutes, it kind of reminded me how much fun carp fishing can be, how hard they pull and made me kind of question why I haven't been doing it more recently. So today we're doing some carp fishing. I drove out to one of the spots I used to fish all the time. I haven't really fished this whole area in quite some time actually, but today we're back out there doing some more carp fishing like I said. So baits are already in the water soaking, waiting for some carp to come by. So now all we have to do is sit back relax and wait for those alarms to start beeping. Okay guys, there's our first fish of the day. <laughs> nice! That is so cool. Oh boy. Nice run right off the bat. Oh man, this feels like a heavy fish. No turn in this guy. Oh my gosh! Guys, this is a big carp, I think. That or a really long and thin one. But this is a heavy fish, right? First fish of the morning. Geez, he's getting you way down there. You know, some people don't like carp fishing, but did you just hear that? I mean, how can you hate a fish that can do this to a reel? This is so much fun. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a nice fish, guys. I'm gonna tighten that drag up just a little bit. So like I said, carp fishing is not really the most popular videos that I make, but I mean, I was out here, like I said, fishing for bass the other day, and I caught one of these guys, and it's lots of fun to catch these fish. You know, no matter what other people say, I'm out here right now just having fun for myself. That'd be awesome if I broke the 20 or 30 pound mark for my first fish of the morning. I've only fished this spot a handful of times, but this fish is, very heavy. I gotta keep them away from the edge too because there's lots of snags around here. I've broken fish off just because they'll get the line and they'll nick it against like a rock or a piece of metal or something and then that'll uh, make you lose them. They'll break off right away. He's trying to go over there right now. Gotta keep the rod tip high, keep them, keep them towards the surface. I'm really bad on guessing the weights of carp but this is a, uh, I mean, I bet this thing's probably 18 to 20 pounds, nice fish. Oh yeah, in the net, there we go. 21 pounds and five ounces, what a great first fish of the day. Uh, this is a super good start, I, this gets me so pumped up. I hope there's some more big fish just like this one, maybe even bigger out there, waiting around for my corn right now. So hopefully we can get some more nice fish. Let's get this one back in the water and try to catch his friends. Time to let her go. See ya, thanks for the fun. Got another one on. Wow, he got a lot of slack on my line there. Oh, now he's going the other way. Geesh. Oh boy, that's another drag screamer. Oh man, hopefully this is another big one. I didn't actually probably get the uh, alarm going off on that one with the other GoPro, because I was actually just messing with the GoPro when this one went off. But hey, second fish, another big one it feels like. I don't like to uh, let him run too much, because yeah, they do what he's doing right now, which is, oh geez, go way down there. Oh great, he's got me stuck on something. Come out of there. He's still on there, I can feel him. Dang it. There we go, sweet, got out. Man, I thought I was gonna lose that one for sure. Stay away from there now, I gotta horse him out. Oh, he's back in there. Get, what the heck. Okay, sweet, I got him out. Nice. Now I gotta tighten this drag and really get him in. Man, he got stuck on it twice. And he's going right back for it again. There's nice fish around here, obviously, but uh, it's super hard to keep mouth stuff because they're really hard to control, especially when they're bigger fish like I think this one is. And they go right downstream, right to the bank, and towards the bank, of course, there's a bunch of debris and sticks and stuff like that. 
but now he's going back out to the middle of the river. So that's right where I want him. He's holding his ground, staying down. This might be another 20 plus. Oh man, another nice fish. A little smaller than that last one, I think, but still a really good fish. Got the net ready, and I think this fish is about ready too. Oh, so close. Give it up, dude. Nice. That's another nice fish, guys. Well, I was actually wrong. This fish was a little bigger than the last one, coming in at 23 pounds and 10 ounces. Great looking common carp right here. Um, it's been slow, like I said, only two fish so far. I've been out here for about two and a half, three hours. But uh, hey, when you're catching fish of this size, who cares? I mean, that fish, I was worried that fish almost came off there twice, actually got snagged. But I uh, managed to get out of the trees and great looking fish. Really healthy, 23 pounder. So let's get it back in the water and shoot for that 30 pounder now. Thanks for playing, dude. And now as far as my rig goes, I'm using a two and a half ounce lead weight here fixed to my line so it can't move at all. And I've got a little swivel right underneath it with about nine inches of 20 pound braided line, which I'm also using, I think I'm using 30 pounds for my main line. I'm using a number six thick wire hook here. You can kind of get a little shot of it there. Um, and then I've got a hair rig on there. So that's basically where you put the corn right here. And that way it keeps the hook open so when a fish grabs the line, they feel that hook, they feel that prick from that heavy weight because it kind of pulls into them once they get to that heavy weight. And that's what makes them freak out and bolt off, hence the name bolt rig. And so I take a little thin wire, like jig or something like that, straighten the hook and put the corn on that. And then you attach, you use the barb to get on that loop right there. And you can see it's connected now. And you just push that right off of there onto the hair, which is, that's what we're gonna call it. So now that you have the corn exactly where you want it, right underneath the hook, you take a little twig or a piece of grass or anything really and stick it back in that loop and then push that corn down so it's pushing against that piece of grass or twig and that way the corn never comes off of that until you get a fish. And here's how the final rig should look. You got your weights there and then you got your hook and your corn right underneath and it's ready to go and catch some fish. Okay, we got another one. Nice. It was, uh, I was just thinking, I was about to throw some more corn out there and move my rods, or, or check my rods, make sure the rig's all setting at the bottom nicely. But we got another fish, so don't need to do that. Nice, third fish of the day. And this is making me think, I wish I would've, you know, baited this spot in advance. You know, I, I haven't come here for a while, I didn't throw any corn out beforehand. But lots of times if you throw some corn out before, like a couple days before, for a couple days in a row, then so usually you do really good when you actually decide to come out here and fish it. Because you know, you get the carp used to coming around here, used to feeding in, in one area, and then once you get here, they're usually waiting, sitting there waiting for some food. I think this is a smaller carp, I saw him. Didn't look that big, but the last one I caught, I didn't think it was, okay, yeah, he's not too big. But still, third fish, not a bad little guy. A real short fight from this guy, he's just a, I don't know, maybe like eight, 10 pounder, something like that. In the net. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get the big camera out for this guy, but nice little carp, probably around eight pounds or so. So let's get back in the water and shoot for that real big one. See you later. So if you're ever looking for spots to fish for carp in rivers like this, the biggest thing to do is try to find an area where you know, like a general area where you know there's carp. And if you can do that and you know there's carp in the area, just take one or two cans of corn or any kind of bait you want to use and throw it out into the water. And it, usually those carp are really good at picking up scent. And so within an hour or so, if there's carp in the area, they'll usually come by and find that corn and start eating that. And once they find the, the corn, usually they come in groups. And so you'll, you'll get a decent number of carp, you know, circulating around that area, constantly coming around, checking for food. And that's usually obviously what you want to find when you're you know, fishing in that area. But a few other things that can make the spot just a little better is finding areas like I'm fishing right now where there's no current or very little current at least. And also areas that have weed mats or submerged vegetation or overhanging trees. Just anything where those carp can go and find shade or cover, um, especially when it gets hot out in the summer like this. There's lots of times midday those carp will go under weed, weed mats or hang under trees and just things like that where they can you know, be hidden and also have shade. 
Well, the carp were definitely more active in the morning. I caught all three of my fish within the first like three or four hours of sunrise, and now it's been about three hours since I've gotten any fish at all. So it slowed down substantially, but either way, we caught two really nice fish, so I'm pretty happy about that. If you guys did like the video and you'd like to see me catch more carp or do more carp fishing, I could definitely do that, so let me know in the comments below. I do plan on getting some carp on the fly hopefully soon. As, as soon as this water clears up, I'm gonna try to catch some carp on the fly, because I did that last year and it was lots of fun. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.